Welcome back. Today we're doing a little bit of experimenting with fuel and uh, things like that. Uh, what we have here is an injector rail of a Jeep Cherokee and with six used injectors. And we have one Chinese injector which is supposed to be a replacement for those. What I want to see is does this flow as much as these do and how good are these because uh, some of mine are, the, the plastic is cracked and uh, I don't know how good they are. So what we have here is a fuel pump, uh, some hose clamps, a bunch of fuel line, a filter, pressure gauge, a few buckets and a scale. So what we essentially do, we hook that all up. I do that off camera, just do all the pipe work. Um, get the pressure to the rail, measure the pressure to make sure it's always the same and then we leave it running for a minute and just measure how much fuel goes into that bucket. I think I'm going to test at least two or three of those to make sure we have a similar flow. As long as the spray pattern looks okay, we should be okay, we'll find out. And uh, once we have a reasonable reference flow, we just pick the best ones of those, we put one of these in and um, see how the first how the pattern looks like and then how much it actually flows because at a given pressure and a given opening time you can only flow so much fuel um, and the Cherokee and most older cars the injection timing is not uh, cylinder based it's a common timing for all cylinders so if you got one injector which flows less uh, this cylinder will run lean because the amount of air is the same and that gives you a relatively rough or uneven firing and basically a rough engine running uh, especially in idle where the Cherokee isn't very good any the four liter this rail is not mine it's a second hand one which I bought on eBay it's got a kink here and to get this fuel line off here uh, you need a special tool for it push it over it might be a bit hard because there's no fuel, no fuel in it so what it does it's creating it's creating a way to get there's some lockers inside to get over this hump here that's all it does and then it makes it easy to remove that piece of fuel line because they just cut it off so we keep that because it seems to be a good connector you never know when you need it um, the injectors shouldn't run on 12 volt what you do is you run them on 9 to 10 volts because we continuously run them um, whereas in the car they're just pulsing with every with every stroke, with every power stroke. Um, so we got a piece of cable here which is just, you can buy them off eBay, uh, which fits here. Uh, to release them just press the tap here. We wire that up to a power supply and the pump goes to the battery with a battery charger here. Okay, let me hook that up and then we'll come back. So we said it took a bit of time because uh, I thought the pump has an internal pressure regulator. Don't know if that's visible. Uh, we just use a bypass hose and a C-clamp, which gives us roughly the pressure we want. Um, we hooked up the power supply, we hooked up the injector, and uh, if we turn the fuel pump on, which we do now, we got about oh, a bit too much. Uh, and now we turn the injector on. It doesn't spray very nice. We're at 4 bar, which is about the pressure we want. Uh, get that fuel back. Again, spraying right a bit here. Pressure is stable, just over four bar. I'll do it for a minute so it will be 
more repeatable than if I do it uh, for a shorter time. Uh, that's uh, great because the scales just stop working. I love these scales. Um, doesn't matter, we empty that or we take it off. 254. 254 or minus 254. Now we're empty. And uh, so we, we, we sprayed 175 grams of fuel on this injector. So let's try the next one. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Um, let's try the next injector. So we set it to zero. Okay. <coughs> All right, fuel pump on. Our pressure, come on. Okay. Another minute. Spray pattern. We can vary the pressure a little bit to see if they look different. I don't know if it's visible on the... And it should be. 30 seconds. I should use a, a taller top actually. Because it's spraying all over the place there. So this is spraying 185 grams, so that's 10 grams more than this one. I need to make some notes actually. Yeah, yeah, that's, right. um, that's 184 grams on this one, 175 here. Let's try this one. Okay, we're set. And... Uh, the timer. Now I need to stop again. I need to start over because I didn't start the timer properly. It's uh, there's nothing better than a proper stopwatch, but I don't have one. It's uh, just a smartphone. And, uh, <coughs> Ah, oh, come on, these scales, they are actually annoying me here. So, that was... Uh, it doesn't matter if we go positive or negative, as long as we know what we're doing here. Let's get the fuel back. And that's um, 177. So that's 177, um, which is close to number 4. Touching. All right. Okay, we're doing number six. I left it on the on the tail. Um, we got a bit of overspray, so it's not super accurate. Uh, 
the spray is much wider on this one. Looks like a much wider spray. I don't know if that's visible, but uh, yeah, the whole the whole thing looks a lot bigger. Maybe it's just misleading, but it's, this one seems to be spraying much better than the other one. Something stopped for some reason. I I think we have to do it again because. Uh, for some reason, it stopped spraying. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that again. We'll come back after. We've done it again. It's boring to watch that. One minute. I um, don't know what the problem was. I'm gonna make sure I'm not touching anything. to zero, start the timer, and start the spray. <coughs> it just suddenly stopped, I don't know why. We have pressure, still 4.2 bar. It's spraying a lot of stuff out here. Ah, it's a mess here. I just need to hold it a bit on an angle, otherwise it sprays like hell here. Uh, we'll weigh it properly after that. The scales are on for that time. We'll see it. Scales out here. That's 161 grams. That's very low. I think we need to verify that. 161. One six one, no matter where it goes. Uh, let's do it again on that one. I don't trust that. Pressure is the same, so I leave the uh, I don't trust it really. Maybe I have some issues with our measurement here. Because now I see a tear of minus nine, minus six. So I'll tear that. And do it again. Pressure is the same, 4.2 bar. I will just run it again and see how it looks like. It's a, it's a bit of a mess with the fuel everywhere, and uh, obviously there's a little bit spraying over. Um, don't do this at home, fuel is dangerous and electricity and sparks and everything. So if you don't know what you're doing, just don't do it, because uh, especially if you're a smoker, don't smoke. Even I don't smoke here. And uh, I'm half scared, though, but I won't, because everything is full of vapors here. And I actually have a fan running underneath here, though, just to make sure. It's the way to start players.